What's up guys, welcome back to another video and you join me today in Charlie and with our 35 Addict and uh, yeah following up from the from the last video um, where we did a bit of spotting around Preston and also spotted an RS3 and a Skyline in uh, Charlie uh, yeah we're going to actually do, be going into Charlie now and doing a bit of spotting for a bit and then we'll probably drive into uh, Buck Charlie and have a look around there there's always some nice stuff around there and then we might head into Preston later yeah so yeah uh, it's a Sunday, so yeah, it should be a decent day spotting. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So literally about a minute or two after filming the intro for this video, uh, we've come across the first spot of the day, this stunning purple M4 competition pack. Now weirdly, uh, we think we've just heard another M4 as well, driving or an F80 M3. That's just bizarre. But yeah, what a cool first spot. Just taking a bit of a closer look at the M4. Absolutely stunning in this colour. I'm not actually too sure what the name of this colour is, but it looks gorgeous. It's also got the white or cream leather interior as well. Proper stunning that. Then performance bits as well. The uh, carbon boot spoiler and diffuser. Nice. So if anyone's in need of a good year tyre, just come to Charlie. We've got one here. RSQ3 there. So we've just come a little bit further up into Charlie to sort of like the retail park and the, this little roundabout here which is quite a good place to spot um, but recently I actually missed a TTRS, the Mark II TT uh, which had no front plate, looks proper menacing, I'm gutted that I missed that Tyler just got it but he only got the back of it so hopefully we'll see that again uh, other than that we saw a nice black XKR which we've actually seen here a couple of times and have we seen anything else? That 3 series but the E46. Oh yeah we saw a nice E46 330ci and I'm just seen a nice um, Z4 Coupe E85 the 3 litre SI 265 horsepower one that was nice and yeah a few other little gems like that but yeah we'll uh, see what we find. Nice 6 series. Continental GT there. We've just come over to uh, Buckshaw Village and uh, we're currently at the Aldi and uh, here we've got this absolutely stunning, I don't know if it's brilliant red or Misano red, um, BARS4. I've uh, just been speaking with the owner of it as well, uh, had a bit of a play with this on the way here, which was good fun. But yeah, this looks absolutely stunning, you don't really see many of these in red, looks absolutely gorgeous, nice wheels on it. And uh, also, this bit here on the front, which is usually sort of like the brushed effects, like the mirrors, is actually red colour-coded, which is quite a nice touch. But yeah, nice. And uh, a C43 has just pulled in as well. Um, just there, but we'll go and take a closer look at that. Nice. Just finished in Buckshaw Village and we're on our way to Preston now, but we've come past the doorway to value in Charlie. And here we've got an Audi S7 Sportback, that's quite a rare thing to see, it's quite nice. There's also an SQ5 there, and then 
here a Mark III Focus RS. This is here quite uh, quite often. Uh, we usually see this when we come past. We've come over to Preston now to the Capital Centre. Just going to have a quick look around here. We have actually seen a nice V8 RS4, and as you can see down there, there's a nice F56. I think it might be a John Cooper works. Let's go take a closer look at that. So we'll just take a bit of a closer look at this F56. This is nice, nice example in red with the black stripes. It's the John Cooper works, 231 horsepower, fastest mini that they do. Nice car from here, isn't it, as well? That's pretty sweet, is that? So we've got this nice Alpina D3 Touring here, quite a rare car, it's also parked near, a, near an RS4 B8 van, fast estates for days. But then, down there, quite ironically, we've got an Aston Martin Rapide, which is weird because we've just seen another Rapide in there which we've just got leaving. You just can't write that. Got a facelift SVR there, madness. Still at the capital centre, and we keep getting sidetracked by cars. But what we have here is um, probably the highlight of his weekend, to be honest. This absolutely unreal Audi R8 V10 Plus in yellow. Now, this I don't think this is actually the uh, optional yellow that you can get from. I think this is wrapped. It kind of looks a bit like Austin yellow in a way. But what an absolute stunner. No front plate as well, that looks proper menacing. It has actually got the plate here on the side. That's, that looks cool. But yeah, such a nice example. One of the best that I've seen. Don't really have any words for this. It's just unbelievable. Nice black detailing all around as well. Nice black V10 badging, black mirrors. It's got the uh, carbon ceramic brakes as well. Carbon side blades, obviously. V10 engine there, 500 and, oh no, 610 horsepower, sorry. And uh, I believe this one may be straight piped, I've been told by Tyler, and also, well, he's heard off someone else. But if you look there, that appears to be a titanium exhaust system. But yeah, what, an, what a mad car, I love the plate on it as well. It's got the uh, 4D number plate on the back which I'm really starting to warm to 4D plates. Just what a stunning car. But yeah, I'm starting to waffle on a bit. Just, yeah. I don't really need to say anything. The car speaks for itself. <laughs> Speed leaving that. Another M4, pretty standard spec. V8 Vantage there. Yeah. E55 down there, damn it, missed that. Spot S1s for the channel, but that is a really nice example to be fair. I like that. 
nice little combo. Just about to go out in this nice matte satin red uh, 330D E90. First diesel I've had. Hey then. Yeah. What have you had before this? It was a Electra V6. Oh right. Oh nice. Yeah. Is it controllable though? Yeah, you, you've got an attachment controller. Oh. So knock it off and then. In decent car, man. That like the it. as well. <laughs> Underrated, aren't they? Yeah. Nobody yeah. looks at them twice, and it's what a 3:30. 3:30. So it's not even a 3:35 D. Same power as a 2:18. It's standard. Yeah, yeah. Put your foot down to a foot and see what happens. They can't just. Uh, That's quick. Just... Yeah, like that. We've now arrived in Preston Town after the absolute madness at the uh, Capital Centre. It's nearly five o'clock, so we're here a bit later than what we planned to be. But yeah, that's just the way we always get sidetracked and see loads of awesome shit. But yeah, we've actually just been out for a ride in a manual E9330 D, which was really nice. That had a really nice uh, matte satin red wrap, which kind of looked pink, but it looked really cool in my opinion. Really good car, that was a really good experience. I'll probably put that in this video. I'd imagine that I've got quite a lot of footage now, so this may even be a two or three part video, because yeah, it's just been such a mad weekend and it's not even finished yet. So yeah, onwards. Stunning SVR down there. So here we've got an absolutely stunning facelift Range Rover Sport SVR. This is actually the uh, second one that we've seen today. The first was the uh, standard Estoril blue colour. This one's a really nice grey, which I actually really like. It's quite an underrated colour for these. But yeah, I just love the facelift Range Rovers. The facelift taillights. Quite dirty at the back, being used properly. Love those wheels. This one's got uh, different seats to the pre facelift as well. I think I actually prefer the bucket seats that you get in the pre facelift to those seats. It's also got these um, vents on the bonnet. Now, I'm not sure if they're standard or an option. Uh, I don't think that the uh, pre facelift cars have that. But yeah, it looks proper good, looks proper menacing that. Such a cool car, I love these. There's also an A45 parked further up, as you will have seen. But yeah, that is sick. Another Range Rover SVR pre facelift this time. This is actually the one which we went out in, in February. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Just got back to the car and that's us done in Preston now. We're probably going to head back to Charlie. Uh, we might go and have a look around uh, Bookshaw on his way. So uh, yeah, if I see anything else then I'll probably just put them in this video. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed those videos from my weekend spotting with R35 Addict. It's a really good weekend spotting, one of the best that I've had in a while. So an absolute ton of awesome cars including that yellow R8 V10 Plus, uh, that really nice grey facelift Range Rover Sport SVR two Aston Martin Rapides in the space of about 15 minutes which came as a bit of a surprise and yeah just so much. I had three rides as well, the uh, Audi S8 D4 Plus, that E90 330D which you saw in this video and the Nissan Skyline 350 GT all of which were brilliant in their own right and yeah like I say just a great weekend spotting. But yeah other than that that's about it for now. Um, if you did enjoy the video then be sure to leave a like and if you haven't then subscribe to stay tuned for more car content and uh, yeah other than that I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching peace